Welcome everybody to my brand new YouTube channel. My name is Anna Carolina Pereira and today I'm going to show you how I make super easy and quick horns and ZBrush. Seriously, it's gonna blow your mind how fast this is. Let's get started. I'm going to start by appending a cylinder and then resizing it. Oops. Be around the base width of the horn. I'm gonna keep it symmetrical for now. We're going to do a layered effect for the horn. So let's start by creating a single one of the segments. I'm going to go to geometry, divide, and subdivide a few times. It's okay that we get this rounded edge. We actually want that. I'm going to turn on radial symmetry to start shaping this segment of the horn. I'm going to go to transform, activate symmetry. This R stands for radial symmetry, and let's test. Right now I'm in the wrong axis, so I need to be on the X Y axis. And right here, you can test by just hovering over, and you'll notice that I have a bunch of little dots where the symmetry is happening, like this. I'm going to start by thinning the base a little bit. We want the top of the, of the horn segment to be a little bit thicker than the base. I'm going to smooth the whole thing, and start kind of doing a little bit of modeling to it. And this will, how this looks will depend on the look you want for your horn. A good trick is to get the segment as detailed as you want it to be ahead of time before you duplicate it everywhere so that way we save a little bit of time when detailing later. I'm going to take the Damien Standard, turn on Alpha 62, make the focal shift a little bit bigger, intensity can come down and just start creating little stripes. With radio symmetry off and back in the X symmetry, I'm going to kind of create the general shape of what I want each segment to be, so not perfectly round. All right, now to do the actual magic, we're going to zoom out and make sure that there's enough room above the horn piece to make the actual horn that you want to be making. Then press W to pull up the gizmo and snap to the front view or the side view, doesn't really matter. And we're going to copy up the segments to create kind of like the base for our horn. Press down control and hold and pull upwards on the gizmo. Oh, I gotta delete the lower subdivisions first. Control and pull. And put as much distance between the two as you want all of them to have. Then let go of control, but keep holding onto the gizmo and then just continue dragging and it will automatically populate with a bunch of segments at the exact distance from the original that you had first selected. Make sure to go slow or it will skip some segments. So this is what it looks like right now. Kind of crazy, but it's okay. You're going to want to do this next. You're going to want to round out or at least create a concave look at the top here. This will make all the difference whenever we make we taper this top bit. Okay, let's taper it. I'm going to press W again to get the gizmo, and this time I'm going to click on the gear for customize, and I'm going to choose the taper option. Click that, and you're gonna get this little deformer here, this little gizmo. Uh, all you have to do is, if you kept it upright, it should fit snugly like this, and we're just gonna grab the top and push it in so that we start tapering it down to a point. If you want, you can do the opposite of the bottom and thicken it out, it's up to you. Then I like to personally create a duplicate and hide the original, just so that I can have the customizability and not have to like uh, use my undo history too much. And I'm going to place it without symmetry, right where the horn is supposed to be. Then I'm going to choose the gizmo again click on the customize and go to bend curve. You'll notice that little dots have populated along the length of my horn. You can choose the axis by using this big green button here. 
drag it and it will change the axis. The amount of segments, so right now we have multiple segments, the amount of segments is controlled by the top cone. So when you make you drag it up, it gets more segments. Drag it down, it gets less. I think this many is enough to get started. You want to start with less segments. You don't want to go crazy right at the beginning. You can add more at any time. To start placing these around, you can grab the dots and just move them around. I like to do it from one axis at a time, so let's do it from the front first, and then we can do it from the side. Now I'm doing it from the side, and I think this is the most effective and fastest way to get a nice little shape going. Make sure to check the three quarters view, top, bottom, and all the other ones that are meaningful to you. All right, then when you're done, click on the customize button again and hit accept. And now I personally like to do manual changes to it. When you're ready, we can mirror by going to Geometry, Modify Topology, Mirror and Weld. There we go. You might find that you need to do some more edits when you do that, so go for it. Now you can feel free to do any changes you want to do to it, any major edits. You know, it can be a little repetitive since we copied all those segments, so you do want to change it up a bit. Use your creativity here. The spiral brush is my last tip. It can be really nice for horns. Get some creative shapes in there. Really organic and, and it, it makes you flexible as an artist, I think, to be able to use the something like the spiral brush that takes away all your control. And that is literally it, the easiest way I know to make segmented horns that have horizontal stripes like this. Let me know if you want other types of horns and other suggestions you have for the tutorials in the past. This is my first video on this YouTube channel, so if you made it this far, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Make sure to subscribe and like and comment on this video and let me know what else you want me to teach you how to make. See you on the next one.